You're not you're not stepping at me. Come on now. Three points of damage. Ooh, two attacks. Gort, Gort, Gort. Yes. Oh man, that's so bright. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Shining Force. So in the last episode, we just kind of figured out that Guardiana has fallen to the hands of Runefost, and now we're gonna go battle them. I'll go ahead and give you guys the stats on this battle right before we head out, because as soon as we as soon as we step out of here, battle begins. So this battle is the third battle of the game, the road to Alter Tone. The enemies were gonna have five dark dwarves five rune knights and five giant bats so basically we have to kill all the enemies or enter alter tone with max our main character you're gonna want to kill all the enemies i mean it's optional too but your best bet for experience and stuff kill them all kill them all so this battle is a little bit more difficult than the other ones we've had so far which makes me pretty nervous about it so yeah we're gonna head into this and see how it goes we could get slaughtered this might be a while, but so uh, let's just see how it goes. Paco, enemies await you on the road to Alter Town. Take all precautions. So Hans, he's good to move in mountains. And we got May. I almost forgot that we that we got her. All right. So these there are some bats over here, and we're gonna want to take care of them first because they're gonna start coming for us. So actually, what I should do, I should have started that out with Hans moving that way. I almost reset the game, but I think we should be good if I just do this. Yes. Yes. Come over to me. I'll kill ya. Oh boy, Rune Knight Squad's scaring me up there. So let's hit this giant bat from a couple of squares away. Alright, Ken. Four points of damage. I feel you. I feel you. Okay. I'm gonna keep Teo on this side of the bridge. Gong. Put him here. I forgot that we also got Gort on our team. The uh, other warrior. I'm excited to use him. Paco will put right here. Luke will put... Now Luke we're gonna put right here just so that people from two squares can hit that, uh, that bat. Gort will put right here. Now uh, there's a gnat in here. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you know that for some reason there's a gnat problem in this room. I don't know where they come from. It's annoying as heck. Alright, attack Gort. Attack him. He's a, he's a veteran warrior, I dare you. One point of damage. You suck. Get it. Okay, that is absolutely fine. I'll just leave him. I'll leave him right here where he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go attack Gort. Keep attacking him. I know what you're trying to do. It's not gonna work. They're trying to find a way to align themselves so that I can't attack them. They're smart, but <laughs> and not smart enough. Oh, she can't attack from two squares. Yo, okay. Um, still, they're not smart enough for me. Okay, so I'm gonna have her go to town on this one and everyone else start going to town on the other ones. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. See how much she does. Miss, okay. May, you're not proving to be that great right now. Teo gonna... Actually, she got some magic points. We can get seven blazes off in this, so... Blaze it seven times. We use one right now. Make up for some lost ground. Ten points critical hit! Teo! Yes! Dang. Okay, I'll put Ken right here and attack from two squares away again. Four points of damage. Hello, we're gonna keep you back here still. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Luckily, I still have Hans out here. And I could probably get Gord out there. Or maybe Luke to, to help protect Teo. Because I want to get some experience on, on Paco. He's... He's at level 3, but I want him to get a little bit more, so... 8 points of damage. Nice! That wasn't even a critical. That was pretty good. Alright. Yes, okay, we'll put Luke out here. Uh, now. Risky moves. You know what I gotta do. Safe state. Alright. Because he could get ambushed completely by these, these dark dwarves and get 
completely just annihilated. I don't want that. So I will put him... I'll, I'll do save state before I do that. And uh, let Gort finish this guy off. Alright, six points of damage. Gort, you're a boss. Nice. Alright, not bad of a start. Now we can start moving people forward. Let's get some hits off on this dark dwarf. Hans? That's what's up, buddy. Hey, four points. Alright. Alright. So since Ken can get quite a bit of mobility, I'm going to move him a little farther back. Because he can move a lot farther than any of the other characters can at this point. All right, oh yeah, Luke, let's finish him off. Nice. Four points of damage on the Dark Dwarf, he's defeated. Amazing. Teo, we're gonna put right here. That was probably a crappy move, but we'll see. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm drawing them out. I love drawing them out. Uh, cannot, not going to move low into that space. I was like, hey, yeah, character, let's move him in attack. But no, that was a, almost a terrible idea that I just made because I wasn't paying attention. All right, so they, they're they're ready to go. They're, they're gearing up to attack right now. Stay here. Let me at him, let me at him, let me at him. I want to I want to start fighting him. All right. Got to protect Teo first and foremost. Get in the way. All right, May, four points. Standard, standard. I'm, I'm down with that. See if we can finish him off with a blaze. Ah, oh, seven points, it's one. One left, ah. Oh. Darn it. Low, stay here. All right, I'm gonna move Paco over here. There's good reason for that, because I'm afraid if I move him up, he's gonna get ambushed. That guy, oh wait, no. Yeah, I feel like over here, I gotta keep my squad together. How, uh, that Dark Dwarf is definitely gonna come down from up there. Save state. You guys know. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's finish him off. All right, all right. And I'm level four. Okay, okay, cool. I don't want to do that, I'll put him right here. Because I want people who are a little bit stronger than Ken to be able to get that straight up attack on these Stark Dwarves rather than Ken being right in front of them and taking up that, that kind of spot. Put Hans in the trees. Alright. Dark Dwarf coming for me. Uh, should I be... Yes. Let's get distracted here. Start working on this guy. You're not, you're not stepping at me. Come on now. Three points of damage. Ooh, two attacks! Gort! Gort! Gort, yes. All right, Luke, get him. Ah, only one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, yeah, come attack me. Do your worst. One point of damage. You suck. Who do they think they are? Psh. Useless. That's what they are. Okay, May. I don't think she's going to finish this guy off, but I know she will finish this guy off, so... Let's just go for it. Unless she misses, which would suck. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. Because she and Gort start, need to start getting some experience here. And so, yeah. I want some of these weaker people, lower level people, to start getting some hits off and killing some people. Like Gong, for example. He could get a kill right now, I hope. Ah, uh, only one point of damage, that was stupid. 
Oh well, whatever. Luke is a heavier hitter. I should put him up here. Because it's been pretty well demonstrated that these dark dwarves aren't going to do as much as I thought they would. And we're just going to... We're not going to use any more magic for right now. Got to be a little bit more sparing with that. And who could use some healing? He's full health. Hans, what were you? Were you full? Yeah, Hans is full health. Paco's 14 out of 16. Gort's 11 out of 13, so both of them are down too. Ken's full. May's full. Can't reach Luke, but he's full. Okay, so just Paco and Gort. Gotta heal my main. First and foremost, gotta protect number one. Even though he doesn't really need it, I would like Lo to start getting some experience as a healer and level up. That's not working, so I'm not really using him all that much right now, but... Okay, and we'll finish off this Dark Dwarf. What's up? Six points of damage, he's down. Alright. And now Ken, go ahead and hit this guy. Two points of damage on the Dark Dwarf, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Attack him. See what you do. One point of damage. You suck so much. Seven percent, um, seven health left. What we do, three points of damage. Gort, I love this guy. And let's finish him off with some Hans action here. What's up? Four points, perfect kill. Okay. Now let's start dragging these giant bats out of the woods. I put Paco. Okay, let's. We're gonna stick stick squad together. Now here's an issue. Bats. They can put your people to sleep. I kind of forgot about that feature. And it's pretty scary. So, watch out. Be very cautious of the bats. They are not strong. But if they put you to sleep there will be trouble to be had. So I think I'm gonna put Ken right there. Put Gort there. Put Luke, I'm putting all my, I don't, I cannot put my strongest guys, all my strongest guys in the front. Because I don't remember when they wake up. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to sacrifice you just in case. Can I have these bats getting to Paco? I'm gonna leave Gort here. And Lo, I'll sacrifice you as well. I know you're a healer, and I could use you, but I need to have Paco surrounded, but I need to have him kind of out in the front. Okay, I'll put you here. They're not coming down, they're waiting for me. Which tells me that I can start moving forward here. I don't want to get too close to them. We're just gonna stay here. We're gonna move. We're gonna move these people forward just one square at a time until I know that everyone can get to them. And I'll use some of these other characters as bait. Brune Knight, what? Why is he coming over this way? Why? Why are they coming this way? Okay, don't put me to sleep, please. Just attack. Okay, four points of damage. That's a mm -mm. little bit frightening. Okay, those rune knights are kind of scaring me a little bit here. Luckily, I got the whole squad up. All right, nine, nine points of damage. Wow. All right, yeah, go ahead, attack me. One point of damage, wow. You're so strong. As long as they don't frickin' put me to sleep, I'll be fine. I'll start hitting these rune knights with some of my other characters. I'm gonna have to split it up here. Cause these rune knights are not to be messed with. All 
right. I'm gonna move Teo down. I'll just move her right here for now. I don't wanna do anything crazy. See, gone. How much can you do? They did four points of damage to him. I'm gonna move him out of here. I don't want him to take too, hard, too many hits right now. I would like to keep him alive if possible, but if I had to sacrifice him, I was fine with that. Go ahead and heal myself. Ten experience points, all right. Let's hit that bat. Dead. Attack me. Fine. One point of damage again. Yep. Start hitting you. Alright, and I'm gonna protect Paco at all costs. Alright, Gort. Left him at one. Hans. And she can finish off this bat. Yeah, there we go. Nice level 3 May. I'm down with that. Again, don't want to do anything crazy with Teo here, so I'll put her here. I'm not going to do anything crazy with Paco either. I could put him... Actually, you know what? He can take hits. Save state. <laughs> He can take hits, so I'll put him here, finish off this Rune Knight and get the experience, and if the other Rune Knight can get some decent hit on him and kill him, then we can just go back and fix that. Easy, easy fix. Yeah, attack Hans. See what you'll do, see what you'll do. Four points of damage, okay. So you do a little bit more, so that's why I'll put Ken over here to attack him as well, because Ken could still get up a level. Would be nice. And we'll put low right here to perform a heal on Hans. Catch you right up, buddy. I gotta get low up some levels. I know I'm wasting magic points with him, but low has got to level up, honestly. Okay, five points of damage. That's fine. I'm not too intimidated, honestly. Because I can do five points of damage too. And Gord is at level three. Amazing. That is just what I wanted. Luke attacks you from here. Four points of damage. And you're attacking Hans again. Like an idiot. Four points of damage, again. Let's attack him with May. And you miss. What is with that? Come on now. And we'll finish off the Rune Knight with Paco. Another miss? Are you kidding me right now? This can't be happening. Come on, don't miss, Hans. There we go, there we go, finally something, something going on here. Oh no, they're moving forward now. Alright, Luke, finish him off. Oh, come on, one more- ah. Teo's got five more blaze hits left. So... Let's use it. Because so we got... Four more Rune Knights left. Gong. Go ahead and heal Paco. Thank you. I'm getting a little nervous here. A little bit uncomfortable. Because these guys are starting to move out now. Gotta keep our squad together. So I'm gonna move Ken right there. Really? That is getting annoying. 
Come on, Gort, just finish this thing off. Thank you. Goodness gracious, that was annoying. Just kept evading the attack. Alright, Paco, I'm just gonna keep him right here. I'm gonna move May out here. Risky move. Save state. Those of you playing on Genesis can't do that, and I apologize. But I'm playing on an emulator, so... Keep our healers back. Yes, yes, okay. Hit five points of damage. I don't like that. Luke takes one more hit and he dies. And he's donezo in this battle. I can't move him out of the way yet though. So we'll just go for it. Should have made a safe state, but whatever. I do believe that I can get a healer to him. If I have Teo out here casting spells, yeah. She should be able to do some really nice damage to them. Killed. Nice. And she's level 4 now. Great. Blaze is now level 2. Awesome. Okay, I would like to get low to Luke, but as of right now, that's not going to happen. So I'm not going to- I'm not about to put low in a position where he could get himself killed. So I'll put Gort here. Six points. Nice. I'll put him right here. Let's just surround him and start picking him off. All right. From here on, no problems. Hans is level 5. They thought that they were ready, but they weren't. I didn't even know if I was ready, but I am. I'll just leave an open path. No, he'll go for Luke. Don't want to lose Luke in this battle. I was going to say, I'll leave an open path so you can get to Paco, but... He'll go for Luke since he knows you can kill him. AI is pretty smart. Teo, you've done great. I'm gonna give you a break here. Go and go ahead and heal Luke, please. There we go, and Gong is out of MP, but that's not an issue because now there's one enemy left, and I don't really have to do a whole lot of healing anymore. Hopefully. Five points of damage. Fine. I just made another safe state because I want to wait. I want to wait with everybody. I want Paco to get this last kill here. Because I would like to see if I can get him up one more level in this battle. So I saved right here before Luke because I know Luke can take that thing out. But I don't want him to. I will have Low come up here. And heal Gort. Low cannot heal anymore. So both my healers are out of magic. And here we go. This should be the killing blow. Boom! There we go. Not another level, but that's A-OK. -okay. Excellent. Kane will have to do better than that to stop you. On to Alter Tone. Oh, he'll have to do a whole lot better. But guys, we're, uh, we are going to enter Alter Tone. But not in this video. We're gonna wait to the next video because I got a really good battle done in this one. I think that should be a decent length video. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on this video and also comment down below and tell me what you thought of this video. If you thought I was making some good decisions, if, I, if you thought I was making some poor decisions, please don't go in the comments and troll me about how save states are for cheaters because I'm aware it's, un it's very unfair 
be using save states. But if you, if you have them, why not use them, right? You can whine all you want about that. I'm, I'm still going to be using them. If you are not subscribed, if you enjoyed this video, there's a button down below this video that you can subscribe. It's a red button that says subscribe on it. You can't miss it. Next to that button, there is a bell icon. Click that so you get notified of our uploads. We upload every day. You don't want to miss anything, do you? Then go click the bell icon. But if you don't want to go down there, if you don't really care, click this button right here. It's another subscribe button that's just right here on the video. You can click it and be subscribed. Right here's a video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Go check that out, like it, and comment. And right here is a playlist that I chose of one of my other gameplays. Go check that out because I, I think you'll like it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.